Hello, and thank you for checking in for the last chapter, uh, chapter 21. Today we're going to cover stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. And uh, it's kind of an exciting chapter because it's a great way to wrap up the whole class. Um, as we've learned how to protect um, the assets as well as how to accumulate them and how to save more than we spend, it's now time to invest and watch them grow. Um, and there's quite a few vehicles that we can do this, and we're just going to focus in a couple of them uh, on stocks, on bonds, as well as mutual funds. Um, some of the terms this chapter you'll need to know uh, is stock and stock or shareholders. So a co corporation wants to increase or have a little bit more capital to, to expand. Well, it's going to sh sell a portion of its company, a stock, um, to a shareholder. Well, someone who owns that stock, and there's there's a couple of kinds. There's common and there's preferred. So that comes into common stock. You're al allowed to vote um, with the corporation, whereas preferred, you're not allowed to vote, but you actually receive preferential uh, treatment for the dividends. So when you the company pays dividends um, and they go bankrupt, you actually get your payment before any of the common stockholders. So. Next is bonds, uh, and then discount versus premium, as well as mutual funds. So know your terms. Um, we'll quickly review. So a stock yield is basically the annual dividend uh, divided by the, the, the closing price, or that day's closing, or today's closing price. Um, the earning per share is your current price divided by your uh, basically your, your P.E. ratio, your uh, price earnings ratio. And then your ratio is actually your closing price divided by your annual earnings. Your ROI, your return on investment, is profit divided by your cost. So let's review um, just some of the practice on 498. Uh, we're going to look and see. It says um, you'll need to know what each line on the stock represents or actually when you when you look at a newspaper like the high or the low what the stock symbol is the dividend the yield the price earnings ratio the volume in the hundreds what it closed at and how much it changed from yesterday so but earnings per share very simply current price which is thirteen dollars in the um, good year stock and the price earnings ratio was sixteen so thirteen divided by sixteen is point 8175 and then it said to double check um, letter C which was how do you calculate yield and the yield that they give you um, can be calculated uh, by our dividend divided by our cost or the close price I should say. So then number two uh, it says we had 40,000 shares of preferred stock um, and it actually had cumulative at 60 cents a share, so that'd be $24,000. But it said they didn't pay any dividends that year in 2010, so the preferred stockholders are owed $24,000. So they're owed that in 2010, they didn't pay. Well, it says in 2011, there's a dividend of 210000 Well, they also have to pay this year's. $24,000 to the preferred stockholders. So eight, the first $48,000 has got to go to the preferred stockholders, and then after that, whatever is left can go to the common stockholders. So 210 minus 48,000, so it looks like it's 162. Is that correct? Yep. $1,000 that's going to the common stockholders. So. Another way to invest is with bonds. Um, unlike stock, someone actually starts to own it. I own part of that company if I bought stock. Well, a bond is kind of more of along the lines of a loan. Um, I'm going to pay a guaranteed interest rate of this, but if it's Coke or if it's Disney, they still want to have money come in. They just don't want their ownership to be diluted by more shareholders. So bonds are in 21-2. Uh, the yearly interest is the future value of or the bond times the stated yearly interest rate. The bond yield is the, the total annual interest divided by the closing cost or the cost at the closing at the end of the day. 
So we're going to look at, um, just turn the page over, and on um, page 500, we're going to look at actual practice problem 2-A, right here. And it tells us Aetna is 7.5, 14, the yield 7.5, there's 20 sold, it closed at 102, or 100.25, which was actually 0.75 higher than the day before. So what we have to do is we understand that it's in uh, percent, so we have to times it by 1,000, so we get 1,002.5 times 5, because it asks us to calculate the cost of 5 at the closing time. So 5 times that is 5,012.50. And then it says, can you check the current yield? Well, what we do is we see our yield is 0.75, so we actually put it as... Uh, 75, because you have to multiply it as well, and by 1,000. Then we divide it by our closing cost, and so we get 0 0.0748, which rounds up to 7.5% yield. So that's how we verified and checked it. The last section is on mutual funds. Um, this is where a lot of us might look first, because we might not be stock experts. And so what it means is basically a... Um, a fund has purchased a large portfolio of different styles of stock, if it's for growth, if it's for dividend, if it's for, depending on what it is for, um, they'll purchase a large portfolio of different companies. And the reason mutual funds are used quite a bit is because of their diversification. You um, actually have professionals managing it. It's very liquid, so if you wanted to get your money back, you could do it really quick. Um, predominantly because you have to trade with stocks and, and bonds and their commissions, it's, it's relatively low fees because it has to compete, as well as you now have access to outside markets. So you could, you could buy uh, world market funds and that have stock of different international companies. So there's quite a few really good values to mutual funds. Um, one of the main things that they really wanted to focus on was the net asset value, which is basically the current market value minus the current liabilities divided by the shares outstanding. The only thing that they really had you do practically was to um, look at the newspaper chart and write down, okay, what was the NAV, what was the change in the day, and what's the year-to-date return. So if you have questions, uh, let me know. It's been an enjoyable semester. Uh, I hope you've learned a lot. I know I have, and I look forward to hearing any comments. Thanks. Take care.